Hello my friends, in this case we want to learn about Kitchen Cabinet Generator for 3D Studio Max. You can download it from the internet. After downloading, we extract it that I extracted uh, here. We have Kitchen Cabinet Generator folder. I go into it and we have two choice. Uh, kitchen cabinet generator for corner renderer and kitchen cabinet generator for video renderer. You depend of uh, your render engine uh, must uh, choose one of these folders because I want to use to video renderer. I want to choose this folder. Okay, I go into this folder and for installing you first. Uh, copy the kitchen cabinet generator folder to this path that I uh, explained you uh, in uh, C drive, program files, Autodesk, 3D Studio Max 2022 version and scripts. You can see I before I copy this folder to this position kitchen cabinet generator. In second step you must copy this folder or user icons to this path in your drive c drive users your user application data local autodesk 3d studio max 2022 version enu and into this folder uh, you can see also i copy this before here user icons and the last step you must uh, drag this script into 3d studio max like this and your installation complete after installing the uh, plugin you must go to customize and hotkey editor and define a hotkey for the kitchen cabinet generator plugin you can type kitchen word here and you can see we have kitchen cabinet generator here click on this plugin and if you want to assign a hotkey i remove this hotkey that i assigned it before press your um, hotkey ctrl shift k and press assign key and press save and in the last step click down Okay, you successfully installed the uh, kitchen cabinet generator for 3D Studio Max and uh, you can use this uh, plugin, but uh, it's necessary to say that when you copy the uh, kitchen cabinet generator and user icons to the its uh, positions, your uh, 3D Studio Max must be closed after copy these uh, folders. Uh, open uh, or start your 3D Studio Max and uh, go to uh, next steps. Okay, I go to perspective viewport and press Ctrl Shift K on the keyboard and you can see we have this window here, Kitchen Cabinet Generator plugin and I want to explain some very important notes about this uh, plugin. Uh, before uh, you start uh, your project, uh, you must uh, notice to some very important notes. Your system unit uh, must be set to a centimeter uh, that uh, our kitchen cabinet generator plugin uh, work correctly. For this reason, go to customize menu and unit setup go to system unit setup and set your um, scale to centimeter press ok and in the display unit scale uh, select the metric and centimeter and press ok uh, you set the your uh, scale or a unit to centimeter in to note you must don't move your object when edit the parameters and don't switch to another tabs when you edit the parameters 
and when you want to create one of the cabinets or other part of the cabinet uh, must be uh, convert, uh, press the convert key that I explained in the next step and if you have a bug restart the script and in the clean scene okay this is very important not about the kitchen cabinet generator I want to go into first tab that its uh, name is the models and the bench top in the bench top tab we must uh, determine the module we have different modules here that these modules contain the sink i want to use first and press create button i want to increase uh, space of my uh, viewport okay i press the create button and zoom out you can see we have this module here and this module uh, determine the your uh, wall length in your kitchen uh, if you have um, like uh, 240 centimeter you can set this uh, parameters here i want to increase it to uh, 300 centimeters and press ok, enter your length uh, equals 3 meters bench top wind equals or determine the uh, depth of your uh, kitchen cabinets and I uh, leave it uh, for the standard parameters bench top position Z determine the your uh, base cabinets height uh, if you use another uh, heights you can set it I want to set it to 88 because uh, we use 90 uh, centimeters for the height of the ca uh, kitchen cabinets so you must notice that uh, we have uh, this uh, this part of the uh, cabinets here that its height equals 4 centimeters 2 centimeters for this part and 2 centimeters for this part so uh, with 2 centimeters and 88 centimeters we have equal 90 centimeters for the kitchen cabinets in the base mode uh, backsplash stone height uh, determine the, this part of the uh, cabinet that determine the stone of the uh, cabinets uh, you can't uh, set this number to zero but you can increase this number and backsplash glass height uh, determine the um, space between the uh, wall cabinets and base cabinets that I want set it to uh, 55 because I want to set this height to 60 this height 60 55 uh, plus 5 equals 60 centimeters that we have these parameters here so uh, I want to press convert that I explained it ago uh, a few minutes ago and I want to create the base cabinet go to paste tab and I want this cabinet here press the create button and I want to determine the parameters of this uh, kitchen cabinet length equals your depth of the cabinet from this point to this point you can increase or decrease this number like this I set it to 58 width equals your uh, cabinet width I set it to 50 height equals your base cabinet's height that uh, in the last uh, in the uh, step before we set it to 88 so I want to set it to 88 tokic height equals the this part of the cabinet for the under of the uh, kitchen cabinets 
I want to increase it equal 10 centimeters 10 centimeters to kick length equals your depth of the kick from this point to this point I want to set it to 56 for save 2 centimeters gap between uh, this part here and rail tick determine the this border here I want to change it depend on your doors you can set it to different numbers and I want to set it to 3 centimeters okay I hope you enjoyed this tutorial in the next lessons uh, we explained or learned about and other tabs of the kitchen cabinet generator in the next lessons. If you like it, subscribe our channel in YouTube and follow our page in Instagram. Thanks a lot. See you in the next lesson.